Hi everyone! Today let's talk about conditions in WorkFusion RPA Express. Sometimes, during a script execution, the bot needs to make a decision and perform different actions depending on a certain condition. Using if-else action, we can set a condition and direct our bot to execute appropriate group of actions. Using if-else condition, the bot can check whether a variable is empty or not, if the value of the variable is equal to, greater or less than the value of another variable, or specific data. If condition is true, the bot will execute actions from then block. If false, from else block. Let's see how to use it in practice. For example, we have an Excel file with invoice payment information. If the status of the invoice is paid, we need to send a thank you email to this person. If the status is overdue, copy this person information to a file in a Dropbox folder, so our colleagues can contact them later. If the status is pending, we don't need to do anything. Let's create a bot that will do it. First of all, Let's copy our information from Excel file to a table variable. Then let's check status of each invoice. Add for each loop and select Iterate by Rows option. After that, we can set up a condition. If the status is paid, let's send an email to them. To do it, we need to launch Outlook. Click on New Email button Set up your email using mouse click and keystroke sections Switch to Email window and type in recipient's email Click on Subject field and type in the subject. The same steps for email text. Then click on Attach File button and press B to open Browse window. Copy the path to the file Create new string variable and set this value to it. Press Enter to attach the file. Finally, click on Send button and add Wait action to make sure that email has been sent. I will put all email actions in one group. If the invoice has another status, the bot will go to else block. 
Let's put another condition here to find invoices with overdue status. If the status is overdue, the bot will push the person's information to another table variable, debtors. Let's create it and use an expression value action. That's it, we set up all conditions. At the end, our bot will paste the data from data's table variable in the data's Excel file on Dropbox. That's it, let's play the recording. As you can see, the bot sent the email to the person with status paid, and everyone who had status overdue have been added to our Excel file. It was only one example of how you can use conditions in your recordings. Hope this video helped you understand this section better. Thanks for watching, see you next time.